what is going on guys and welcome back to another video my name is jeremy and this is jeremy's wild world so you guys probably saw from today's title today we're going to be checking out the arc reptile and amphibian show 2024 now this is the first time i've ever attended this show um i didn't actually know about it until my buddy of mine ryan from the animal lad told me about it and i decided to go check it out it was an absolutely fantastic day um you know a quiet show in comparison to like the ihs shows it was really nice to be able to talk to all of the traders there, you know, talk about the animals. Of course, I picked up a few bits and bobs, uh, some dried goods and, of course, livestock. Um, so I'll be showing off what I basically got today and showing you some footage because I actually did manage to record some stuff today. You know, a new show for I just show off a couple bits and bobs, just recorded some of the tables there. And yeah, so basically going to be showing you all about the arc reptile and amphibia show. I had a really, really awesome time and I recommend guys checking out. I'll be leaving the link to their Facebook page and their details down in the description below so before we get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado let's start off today's video by showing you the footage i got of the show Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the footage that I managed to record at the show and what I've got to say, um, but nothing but positivity in regards to it. I had a really, really good time. Um, you know, it's really quiet, uh, but in a good way in comparison to like the IHS shows, which are super busy. And, you know, I was having a chat with some of the organizers and in general, they just seem like lovely people. And I'm definitely going to be a regular attendee to these shows. Um, there's the next one's going to be in July. If you guys check out their Facebook page, do remember it's members only. You can't pay for membership um, on the day and you can't buy tickets. Um, you have to pay for the membership, which is only a tenner for four months, guys. So... Uh, I'd highly recommend doing it, you know, £10 for an entry. It's not too bad. You know, we're on average paying £6 to £8 pounds for entry for shows anyway. So, you know, um, really, really good. Uh, you know, variety of stock there was really, really nice. Um, lots of different uh, amphibians, which I've got some today. Uh, some reptiles, you know, not just your ball park, um, you know, ball pythons and stuff like that. You know, you've got to see some really cool stuff. I saw some false water cobras, uh, Madagascan cat eye, some chameleons uh Chihuahuas. yeah that was really really nice to see and yeah so basically i'm going to be showcasing what i got now um i got a few gifts and you know a uh, mixture of uh, live animals and uh, dry stock and plants and stuff like that and yeah so let's just get right into it starting off with a gift i got from aisha from inverts at heart um so i made a dome or i'm in the process of getting a dome made for her of a hedgepod that she sold to me um, long story short, she was reluctant to sell her, but I promised her that I would breed her if I had the opportunity to do so. 
I managed to do that last year and I'm gonna give her a sling and the female back pinned as a thank you. And in return, I didn't expect to get anything, but she insisted that I take some of these, which are two Hedgepoda David Bowies. Now these two, I believe are males. One is definitely a male, sub-adult, uh, but this one I believe is a male too. But regardless, I'm happy. Uh, you know, David Bowie is one of my favorite species of Sporacidae and to have the opportunity to work with these further, I'm really, really excited to do so. I can always pick up another female. I've paired two females now. Uh, if you guys saw my video last, uh, not last week, two weeks ago now, um, I have paired one and she has now dropped the egg sack after pairing, so I'm really, really excited for that. So yeah, this will obviously give you another opportunity to breed them further. So again, Aisha, thank you very much, and I'll get that dome over to you, hopefully, at the capsule show. Now, before I show you the rest of the stuff, I just want to also mention I grabbed a incubator. This is a lucky reptile incubator. Um, now, I didn't bring it home with me because I was traveling on train, but the guy did mention that he was trading at the capital show so you'll probably see that uh in my pickups video for there i'm trading at the capital show uh in london so if you guys are going to attend there do swing on over if you're looking for assorted invertebrates and stuff like that and yeah so let's just talk about the rest of the stuff so starting off with some isopods so i first of all went over to a lovely um uh, company called raw geckos check them out on the information down in the description below I'll uh, leave their link for the Instagram there. Um, so they had a listing on the group for leaf litter. So uh, I, of course I picked up three bags of leaf litter. Always need leaf litter for the isopods and display enclosures in general. But then she also had um, some isopods. Now these are mislabeled, they aren't armadillidium, they're uh, porcelio, but you know, for that price, 10 pounds for 10, and she says she threw an extra five uh, in each tub. So I ended up with 30. Porcelio Hoffman Segi for £20. That was an absolute bargain. So these are an absolutely amazing species of uh, giant Spanish pods. Now that's a male right there and a female next to it. So that's actually a great example of this species here. So you can see the sexual dimorphism between the two, the Europods, which are those little stick things in the bum. Uh, that's how you can sex these. And really, really nice, you know, big specimens too. They're not small. I'm just super happy to have the species back in my collection again. Um, I failed to keep these last time, so hopefully with a bigger colony and some new advice from her and from researching, I'm going to be able to keep the species ongoing in the future. And yeah, so you know, 30 of these for 20 quid, absolute bargain. Normally they go for about 25 for 10, so really, really happy with that. Uh, so yeah, definitely go check out more geckos if you haven't already. So yeah, apart from buying the leaf litter and the Porcelio Hoffman Segi, I also decided to try out their um, bug food. This is a high protein bug food. So uh, if this is any good, I will let you guys know. And it looks pretty good to me. I mean, I wouldn't lick it by myself, but I, I, I'm pretty sure the isopods would like it. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? It looks like something you sprinkle on top of your like uh, healthy yogurts or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, so I decided to try out their uh, bug powder here. So yeah, I'll give some feedback in regards to this on my Instagram page. All right, so next up, I take a visit over to Rick over at Rick's Bug Room. So I was um, intending on buying a mantis because I haven't kept mantis for a while. And if you guys look back on my older videos during lockdown, I was keeping a lot of mantids, probably kept over 30 species. And these have always evaded me. And I uh, decided to pick up an absolutely gorgeous female of the Heterochea Cheta, Heterochea orientalis which is the cat eye mantis now the main reason why i didn't buy the species uh, before during covid oh, look at it doing a little fret pose and you probably saw the adult female on display uh during the clip that i recorded off his table um is mainly because they require a heat source and a net enclosure now with my bedroom i was very limited on space so i kept mantis that didn't require a mesh uh, area but I don't now have the garage and there's loads of space. So I decided, you know what, let's give this species a go. Uh, I've got a heat lamp ready and everything. So I'm really excited to keep this species and hopefully I'll get it to adulthood and possibly give it back to Rick for breeding purposes in the future. Now there was a male there too, but they were similar size. So I decided to pass up on the male. Uh, mainly just got this because I haven't had any mantis for ages and you know, really, really cool. And uh, she's a bit angry too. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And you know, for £10 for a sex female, why not? So again, Rick, thank you so much, dude. Much appreciated. Now some other isopods I picked up were from the lovely Lulu from Rebel Regis. So if you guys haven't checked her out before, Again, I'll leave some information in the description below for her. Uh, awesome. Uh, she doesn't just do the isopods, she does like 3D printed stuff. You guys saw her table there. 
Uh, no snakes at this show, but um, the ice pod variety was very, very nice to see. So what species did I decide to get from her? Well, I decided to get some of the Armadillidium Espanoli Marbleized, um, and she gave me this for 30 quid. So these are really nice species I've not had before, as you can see right here. Um, stunning, stunning species, and again, a good size. What I like to see when buying isopods is a good size in regards to them. And yeah, so I got some of these Armadillidium Espanoli Marbleized. That is pretty much it for inverts. Now let's talk about some of the amphibians and stuff that I also got, and I also got a species of reptile at this show. So starting off with those reptiles. So I've been wanting these for a while now since getting the garage. I do like my micro geckos and I wanted to have something that was a fairly good beginner species. So I decided to get a group of these absolutely gorgeous morning geckos now these are really really good price you know um he said if i bought the lot on the table he would do them at a five reach so i got four of them for a fiver and look at that yellow belly absolutely stunning so i got four of these now i was um going to only get two but my friend ryan at the animal lad also wanted one so i wanted some so i decided to get two for me and two for him um if you guys don't know these are a parthenogenic species as well so i will eventually get some babies and the plan is to keep them all together as a little family and uh, you know maybe occasionally sell some here and there but these are really really cool and a really nice micro species if you guys have never kept uh, geckos before highly recommend these as a beginner species so really excited to get these set up and see them jumping around in the enclosure so yeah i got four of those and then also for my buddy ryan um he wanted a tomato frog and luckily enough they did have them at the show so i just i picked him one uh i was tempted to get one for myself but i ended up getting another species or a couple species of amphibians instead um but check this out this is a tomato or the false tomato frog um scientific names will be in the corner here uh, in regards to reptiles and amphibs my scientific knowledge uh, scientific name knowledge isn't that great at the moment so i'm going off of common names for now uh, but yeah check this out absolutely gorgeous we had a tomato frog in my college uh, i don't know if that was a true or false but um just seeing these in person really really cute um you know it's nice that they're captive bred as well instead of wild caught so that's really really cool and yeah so only a couple more bits and bobs guys and then we'll be done for this video so i think i'm going to show off this species and then i'll show off another species so these two are mine um so i picked up from jungle reptiles uh do check them out absolutely great prices and they also have um, a website that you can buy from i believe and this is their postcode for the uh, shop that they have yeah jungle reptiles really really cool um i picked up some plants as well as um some feeders so what feeders did i get from them i got some fruit flies really really good amount in here you know for me guys i breed a true spider so i always need fruit flies and these also are great for the morning geckos too uh so you know five pound a pot and um, yeah, really, really good started uh, tubs. So I got two of those. In regards to plants, I got lovely red vein plant. This will be utilizing the uh, morning gecko enclosure. So I got a red vein plant, that was four pounds. And then I got this lovely fern, which I'm deciding to put into a couple enclosures. And that being this species here, yeah love the ferns this is really really nice looking and uh, you know i like putting plants into my enclosures and then the animal i got from them is uh, something i wasn't expecting to see at the show and you know for the price that it was i had to pick it up so i decided to go with a smooth sided toad now these are not very common here um as far as i'm aware and uh you know for the size and the price this little one was 45 pounds so so cute doesn't want to face the camera unfortunately so we'll have a look through the tub but look how pretty and these get massive if you've never seen an adult of this species i'll throw a picture around here so you guys can take a look um, but they're absolutely gorgeous and you know my buddy ryan he has three of them and yeah i decided to go with this little one instead of a tomato frog on my own I love i love amphibians in general it's just nice to have a toad now i have um this little one and my pac-man frog who is doing fantastic lambo and uh yeah really really cool so <laughs> now i've got 
a toad. Uh, so just before I show off the last animals, um, I also forgot to mention I got this lovely plant here from the cellar, which is this species here, the Sol Solerolia solari, Soleroli. Uh, but yeah, so this is a really, really nice carpeting plant. So I'm going to start using this in my enclosures. Um, this was only four pounds. There was various sizes there. So that's really, really cool to have. And then I also picked up a bag of Pangea. This is for the morning gecko. So this came from TNL Reptiles. So thank you for these. Uh, this is the uh, papaya flavor. Uh, so yeah, just a little uh, blended food thing that I can feed to the morning geckos instead of just insects so I can have this as an occasional treat. Alright so the last animal I got was a pair of frogs again. Now yes I do love my amphibians and these all will be separated from Lambo just only for quarantine purposes um, for the meantime uh, but yes yeah, so really really cool and I decided to pick up a pair of white tree frogs. So these are absolutely gorgeous so I got a medium snow and a high snow so the high snow is blue and the medium snow is a snow is a green color form so you probably saw an intro um, no uh from devon's uh frogs devon frogs uh that was their table and i got them for these little ones from there and the pair absolutely ecstatic to have these in my um collection now really really excited to grow these up and get them all to their big chunky stage so so pretty and, you know two snowflakes really really good price i got the pair for 100 um and she was like i was saying in the intro she was so passionate about telling me how to care for them and i'm really really excited to see how they do with me and yeah so that's everything that i got at the arc reptile and amphibian show i hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and yeah so that's pretty much it let's get into the outro of today's video so that is the end of today's video guys what do you think i am so so happy with all the pickups i got at the arc reptile and amphibian show Again, an absolutely fantastic show and I highly recommend going to check it out if you are local and you're able to make it in July and I think they have one in November too. So definitely go over and check them out. I'm definitely going to be at July, possibly trading there. We shall see. And yeah, I had a really, really awesome time and, you know, really, really excited about all the pickups. What was your guys' favourite pickup? Mine personally was the Smooth Sided Toad, but again, I do love all of the amphibians and those absolutely gorgeous morning geckos I got. The ice pods, pretty much everything, guys. You know, I love picking up stuff at the shows. Had an awesome time and now going to be setting up all the enclosures for these little ones off camera. I'm going to be setting them up in quarantine tubs away from Lambo because, you know, amphibians, new stuff. Keep them away from the stuff that you already have. And yeah, so that is pretty much the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore as well as my Facebook page. Jeremy's Wild World. I'm really active on there, posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. That's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.